Hi Gemini, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your mid-May 2022 monthly reading. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right guys, so I would like to apologize for the delay with getting this reading to you. I was actually under the weather. All right, so I'm looking at the rest of May for Gemini. We have the Seven of Wands. Let's see. And Gemini, what does Gemini have coming up? Looking at the rest of May 2022, please. And as always, guys, if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. Also, if you could please give this video a thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate that. So you have the Seven of Wands, Gemini, crossed by the Magician. The Magician did land in the reverse. Let's see what else we get for Gemini, please, looking at the rest of May. Four of Wands in the reverse at your foundation. We have the Seven of Cups in the recent past crowning you. We have the Tower. All right, so now I'm looking at the near future for Gemini. What does Gemini have coming up in the near future? Okay, so we do have the Five of Cups and the Two of Coins. And because I specifically asked for the near future, I'm, I'm going to keep both of these. All right, I was going to say, this is, this is your power here in the situation. Uh, we have the Ace of Swords and the Six of Wands. Let's see, how do others view Gemini? We have the 10, or excuse me, the 9. The 9 looks like the 10 of cups here, but this is the 9 of cups. That's how others around you are viewing you. Okay. Now I'm looking at the hopes and fears for Gemini, please. Two of Wands, it did land in the reverse. Now I'm looking at the outcome for Gemini. What is the outcome? You have three cards that landed upright. We have the Seven of Swords, the Six of Swords, and the High Priestess. Overall energy is the wheel. So change is coming in, let's see. Some of you definitely feel like you're going around in circles. Something's on repeat. But I do see you, I do see you breaking a cycle. So maybe you've been on repeat. Change is coming in. Now you could be dealing with a Leo. We have the King of Wands here at the bottom of the deck or possibly a Sagittarius. We have Temperance. We have, wow, we have the star and there's death. I mean, look at these major. So you have the Wheel of Fortune, you have the King of Wands, you have Temperance, the star. So tremendous healing energy here. Oh my goodness, Gemini, look at this. And we have death. Temperance, the star, death. Oh my goodness, judgment and the fool. Look at these majors. These are all at the bottom of the deck. This is just profound change. Change is coming in. No matter what, you have no control over these changes, Gemini. This is 
this is meant for you at this time or whenever you're experiencing these energies because with these general readings some of you may have already experienced this energy others you're in it right now and then um, others I mean it's coming up for you here in the near future I mean this is Justin there's tremendous healing energy here uh, we see you recovering we see you rising up from the ashes with death and judgment here and oh my goodness look at this this is you liberating yourself Gemini from something that was just incredibly toxic maybe for some of you there was some sort of obsession or this cycle that's been on repeat wasn't um, the healthiest but you're breaking free you have the devil you have the fool you have judgment which this could be a major awakening for some of you major awakening major realization uh, some of you had some maybe very negative beliefs uh around something a situation a person that's that's over with that's coming to an end so maybe um there was some this could be like harsh judgment or um maybe negative beliefs for some of you i can read this a number of different ways but there's tremendous healing energy yeah and if there was a loss let's say in the family or something like that if you did experience some sort of loss we actually see you healing you we see you healing for some of you there could have even been some sort of illness and you're recovering now the very first card out is the seven of wands this is a very defensive energy this is you standing your ground this is you doing things your way. And so this change is inevitable, Gemini. Some of you are trying to fight these changes. You're trying to fight this. And you can try to resist all you want, but when you do that, we get we get this we get tower moments you have no control over the things that are happening around you and you know if you have let's say aquarius or leo or taurus or scorpio in your chart any of the fixed signs depending on the placements you're not going to like this but those of you that were not seeing something clearly in the recent past, this is an awakening. This is an aha moment. And with all of these majors and the Wheel of Fortune here is the overall energy, it's meant to happen. Things are meant to unfold like this. You could be resisting. You could be resisting this. Uh, but for others, for others, this is you maybe fighting for something that you want. For those of you that this is on the job front, with the Four of Wands in the reverse, some of you um, were not feeling financially secure or um, some of you may be underappreciated at work or maybe you don't like your job or you didn't like your job this is at your foundation this is this is old energy for some of you it it's 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 still it's still ongoing it's still there but for some of you you're shaking things up and you could actually be taking uh, a chance here a gamble just make sure because we've seen the fool and the devil you have the tower here on the spread just make sure that you're not being careless. Uh, just make sure that you are being safe because those of you that are being extra careless or foolish at this time, I don't think that it would end well. Just make sure that you are being safe. Some of you are shaking things up, mixing things up could be moving house, could be changing jobs. 
and it's meant to happen. Uh, I definitely could even be reading for some Geminis. We are, you could be reviving something. Um, there's a lot of hope uh, around a situation. There's a lot of hope. And something that ended, you could be breathing life back into it here, trying to maybe make something work. The King of Wands goes after, you know, whatever it is that, that he wants. And so um, Seven of Wands, you know exactly what it is that you want. Some of you are ready. You're willing. You are fighting for whatever this is. And you are creating change in your life. The magician in the reverse is just make sure that you're you're doing this in a in an honest, safe way. You also may have somebody around you who is manipulative or controlling, but you have this liberating energy, Gemini, that's coming in. And if something does end for you at this time or has already ended, I feel like you're making the best of the situation. Um, some of you are rebuilding and you did not have a solid foundation prior. And so now you're going to rebuild and you're going to create that solid foundation, that more secure foundation. And the universe has your back, basically. The universe is going to help you do this. Some of you here in the near future, I do see you being very emotional. You have the five of cups with the two of coins. I feel like I am reading for some Geminis where you have some sort of past regrets. This is you here coming up in the near future, thinking about the past quite a bit memories, events, things that maybe you said or maybe that others said. You know, th this is replaying over and over again here in your mind. That's really what I'm getting. And so if you have some sort of past regrets, you may need to speak about it. Um, some of you absolutely will, and I feel like that's a good thing. Others, this is you still maybe mourning a loss here. You could be dealing with a Leo, an Aries, a Sagittarius, or somebody who comes off as the King of Wands. The King of Wands is very attractive. He's definitely a go-getter, very passionate um, energy. But those of you that have some sort of past regrets, I do see communication. You have the Ace of Swords. This is in the position of your power. Some of you are saying something to this person. Uh, I see you. I see you definitely getting a lot of attention here. Uh, I feel like this is over the next couple of weeks, Gemini. Gemini season is just beginning. And so I feel like this is an incredibly powerful time for you. A lot of this, you really cannot control, Gemini. But this is, this is victory. This is, this is triumph. And for some of you, this is maybe something that you've been fighting for. You know, you may feel like your life is a mess or there's this chaos madness going on around you. A lot is changing, but this is victory. And so it, it, this is this is coming in for you here. This is attention. This is recognition. And um, those of you that were hoping to maybe get back together with somebody, I do see that happening. You will definitely feel more secure here in the near future. You do have the Nine of Cups. So you have the Star, you have the Nine of Cups. 
some of you are absolutely manifesting a wish but you're dealing with obviously divine timing and so things are going to happen in, in which they're meant to you know uh in the timing that they're meant to and so we see this coming in communication news recognition now somebody could be reaching out to you gemini and this may make you very very happy this could be someone that you have been thinking about quite a bit you may hear from them there could be some sort of event i'm seeing that and so yeah i mean this could be a reunion for some of you i see a lot of happiness um food drinks all of that um this is a social energy here. Now, in the hopes and fears, you do have the two of wands. And so you could be making a decision here. You might be fearing that you're going to make the wrong decision. If you're waiting on a decision, waiting on maybe hearing from somebody, there could be fears around that. You know, also something hidden coming to light. Some of you Geminis are really worried about that. Something coming to light. I mean, and this could be your feelings. For some of you, this is this is maybe how you feel coming to light and you don't want that to happen. You are an air sign and so depending on what you have in your chart, it might not be, you know, the easiest for you to express yourself, Gemini. Energy going into June, you have the Seven of Swords, you have the Six of Swords, and you have the High Priestess. And so we see you very strategic here at this time, maybe making some moves, being quiet about these moves that you're making some of you this is physical travel you could be traveling for some of you I see you traveling at night you may not be telling everybody those of you that are getting back together or maybe reuniting with somebody you may not be telling your friends family Six of Swords, this is you moving past any obstacles. If somebody lied to you or cheated you in some way, if they stole from you, Seven of Swords, you're moving on. You could be leaving this person behind. You're just moving on with your life, moving forward, and maybe taking the, the high road here and staying quiet with the High Priestess listening to your intuition as you do this. But I mean, change is coming in, new beginnings coming in. We see you healing. Let's very quickly do some clarifying for Gemini. Let's take a look at the tower. What is the tower for Gemini, please? Two of Swords, and so if you were stuck or dealing with some sort of stalemate situation, I mean, this is you fighting with the Seven of Wands, you're not backing down. You may not see that things are falling apart or there's chaos, madness, drama going on around you or some of you are blocking it out here this is you ignoring ignoring the chaos the madness um for some of you it could be that a business is failing or a relationship is failing or failed and this is this is denial this is um ignoring this is you not wanting to see and sometimes that's a good thing you could be taking the high road gemini i'm not saying that's a bad thing it depends on how you resonate 
with it. Now, looking at the Seven of Wands, you do have the King of Cups, so you could be dealing with a water sign. Let's look at the Four of Wands at your foundation. It did come out in the reverse. Let's see for Gemini. Please clarify the Four of Wands in the reverse. You may be fighting a King of Cups or maybe you're fighting for a King of Cups. Five of Swords, looking at the Four of Wands, which landed in the reverse. This is a very manipulative, deceptive energy. So again, maybe someone cheated you in some way or something like that. They could have wronged you in some way, and this is you basically standing your ground, defending yourself, um, protecting yourself, protecting others fighting for what you feel like is is right. Let's look at the magician that landed in the reverse. And this is also in the challenge position, which some of you are possibly dealing with someone who's manipulative, but that's not all of you. Uh, others, I feel like this is just timing. You're dealing with higher forces, divine timing, and mid-May when I'm filming this, this just, you know, may not be the right time for you to manifest, for great change to come in. I mean, Mercury's retrograde. Yeah, look at this. We have the Two of Pentacles, Judgment, the Hanged Man, and the Eight of Pentacles. So yeah, I mean, maybe you were thinking, again, you know, the same thing over and over again. There's a lot of fears, worries, regrets, uh, things like that going around in your head. But you are releasing that. And this is you gaining a fresh perspective. Again, there could be an awakening that's taking place. Yeah, there definitely is, um, I mean, for some of you, this is a lot of spiritual growth, definitely. You're working on yourself here. I feel like I'm reading for some Geminis. You're bettering yourself. You're ascending. Um, this is you raising your vibration. And because you're doing that, I mean, you could be attracting new people, new connections, a new tribe entirely into your life the people that you meet here gemini in the near future if you just feel like you know you guys you know just maybe understand each other um i mean for some of you i feel like you're attracting your tribe there's the empress yeah i mean when you love yourself and you know your worth, and that's the energy that, you know, you're, you're giving off. I mean, that's what you're going to attract. Okay, so when I pick these up, we do have the Queen of Cups. In the reverse, we have the Lover's card, which is upright, and that's your card. And so next, I was actually looking at the Seven of Swords, the Six of Swords, and the High Priestess. So some of you may be possibly dealing with the Pisces. There is very strong Pisces coming through here, possibly Scorpio. But um, yeah, you're making a decision or somebody that maybe you're involved with is making a decision. They could be choosing between uh, a couple of options and this is you moving forward. Now, some of you may move forward and not tell anybody uh, or you're making some moves here and you're not announcing them. Now, this is later on because first you have this energy that's coming up for you, which you could be actually speaking quite a bit. You could be making some announcements and you actually could be quite loud with, with that. That's not all of you, but some of you. All right, let's, let's pull you some uh, additional guidance cards, Gemini. 
I'm going to pull you a card from this deck. Let's see what we get. For Gemini, looking at the rest of May. I definitely see communication, but you know, you're dealing with divine timing. So things are going to happen when they're meant to. If you're trying to control or resist or whatever it is, don't. Just allow yourself to be guided. Things are happening, you know, when they're meant to. Let's see, Gemini. These cards. Let's see. See yourself in nature. So, you know, at certain times, if you're feeling low, if you're exhausted, if you have chaos and madness going on around you, get out. Um, for some of you, there's been maybe fights within the family, fights at home, could be at work for a few of you, but if you're dealing with some drama, you may need to go outside, ground yourself, breathe some fresh air, take a moment, and then we also have see the signs. Yeah, for some of you, especially those of you that Those of you that are maybe really going through a lot of change, changes at the moment, uh, for some of you spiritually growing, I feel like the universe, your angels, your spirit guides, they want to connect with you. But if you're in a very chaotic atmosphere, um, you know, that may be difficult and, you know, for some of you, what's needed is going out. Um, yeah, for some of you, you got to go outside. Take a moment. Maybe spend some time alone. I feel like that's necessary because this is this is the universe definitely trying to send you some, some messages here, some signs. Uh, you will see the signs, the synchronicities. Uh, maybe if you separate yourself from, could be like a chaotic atmosphere for some of you. Let's see, Gemini. So if you have a particular question, Gemini, let's let's see what the answer is for Gemini. Looking at the rest of May, Gemini. But when it comes to making any decisions, Listen to your intuition. Queen of Cups is in the reverse. This could be you not listening to your intuition. Wait. Yeah, you could be making the wrong decision. That's not all of you, but for some of you, this could be you needing actually to pull back. Maybe you're not seeing the bigger picture. We do have the Seven of Cups in the recent past, which is a scattered energy it's a very unbalanced energy um, it's also illusion delusion confusion and there is a, a deceptive energy here as well so perhaps you didn't have all of the information or something like that queen of cups in the reverse for me is always not listening to your intuition not following your heart and now we have weight coming out uh, many of you are being guided to go outside you need um, to get outdoors some of you spend some time alone wait so take a moment here Gemini let's look at your love life for Gemini for the rest of May please Those of you that are looking for love, I feel like love is coming in. You could still be getting over a past heartbreak. That's not all of you, but for some of you, there could be a new love interest that's coming in. 
Wow, and as I say that, Gemini, this is the card that we get. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So yeah, I mean, some of you, you have a choice in love. And it certainly could be with someone new that's coming in and giving you a lot of attention. And perhaps for some of you, this could be also a past connection. All right. One more message for Gemini looking at their love life for the rest of May, please. I do apologize for background noise. Okay, we have different pages vulnerability and release yep that's exactly what that is at the bottom of the deck so you could be releasing an ex some of you are still grieving the loss of, of something um you know that was significant in your life okay different pages you and this person don't share the same vision this could be with the new person and it it may be because you need to keep an open mind. So maybe someone is interested in you, Gemini, but you you may look at them like uh, they're not a possibility or they're just a friend, whatever it is. And it's because they're not maybe your usual type. And those of you maybe dealing with a past person, uh, some of you, it's it's that you're not on the same page. You can be completely open with this person. And then we also have release, radical acceptance, and surrender can help let go. So I feel like with this combination, you know, maybe someone didn't want to open up. This could be you or the person that you've been dealing with. Maybe it's just not easy for you to open up and express yourself. But yeah, needing to surrender. Needing to take a moment here. You're healing. Some of you, you do have new love coming in or a love interest that's coming in. Let's look at career for Gemini, please. What is the message for Gemini? Okay, we have pay yourself first. Make yourself your most important financial obligation by setting aside a portion of your income every time you are paid. This loving form of self-care ensures that you'll have savings to invest in your present and in your future. So even if you don't own a business, it doesn't matter. Um, this card talks about saving money. So think about the future. So... Um, some of you may be needing to focus on saving a little bit more money. Create that solid foundation for yourself, Gemini. Others, the message here is uh, that you may need some self-care. So maybe some of you need to take a break from work. Let's see what signs you're dealing with, Gemini. Who is Gemini dealing with? Who is Gemini dealing with? Pisces. Pisces is coming through sh so strong, guys. So Pisces. I'm also getting very strong Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, so fire sign energy, definitely, definitely getting Scorpio, definitely getting Pisces. And then we also have Virgo coming through. All right, Gemini, so I hope that you find this reading helpful. If you do, as always, please give this video a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed. All right, guys, have a good month.